Welcome to another edition of City Currents. I'm Russell Carter, and joining me as always is Karen Hibbert. Hi, everybody. Uh, Karen, it is finally spring. Hopefully the snow is gone. Hopefully it's warmer weather from here on out. Uh, I love it. I'm excited. And I understand you kick your spring off with a uh, adventurous bike ride. Is that right? That's right. My sister and I um, went on her spring break to um, the Natchez Trace Parkway. It was 450 miles from Nashville, Tennessee to Natchez, Mississippi. So we had um, a great time and we were out camping and being able to enjoy the outdoors. Um, but I understand that I missed a really good race for a team parks and rec while I was gone. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, that's right. I, I, I didn't stay inside the whole time. I also went outside uh, to the Shamrock, the uh, Shamrock 5K, the free clinic of Danville's 5K that they have every year. Uh, team Parks and Rec ran in this. There were six of us, um, and we finished second place. So we're real excited about that. Uh, we actually brought a picture to show you guys real quick. So there they are, Team Parks and Rec. Uh, real excited about that race. I hate that I missed that. When, when's the next time that we can go out and do that? We will be doing the uh, Nestle 5K, uh, which is on uh, May the uh, 18th. Sure. Isn't that during Festival in Park? It is. Uh, yeah, it's during uh, Festival Park. We'll talk a little bit about that later on in the show. Um, great. Well, we want to remind everybody about our hashtag project. Um, we love to get out and play, and we do that as much as we can. But when we can't, we want to know what you're doing. So if you go on um, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram and do hashtag play Danville VA, you can show everybody how, how you play in, in Danville. And yeah, and we've had some good po uh, pictures. A lot of your your Parks and Rec staff have posted uh, some good ones. Karen, I think you've put up a couple of neat, uh, you went skiing one day? Uh, I did, yeah. I went cross-country skiing to work when we got nine, nine inches of snow. So I, I broke out my skis, which I never thought I'd be able to do in Virginia. And um, yeah, I skied into work. So we've been posting uh, probably about a month now. If you search the hashtag Play Danville VA, uh, you'll see some of the ways that we're playing. And again, we just want to know what you guys are doing as well. Uh, again, if, so anytime you post on those, hashtag Play Danville VA. Uh, we're gonna take some of our favorites and, and put them in the brochure. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we just want we want you to share with us, and we want to share with everybody. This is a fun town. It's a fun place to live, and we just want to know uh, what's going on and what people like to like to do. Um, so, we we'll, we will again hopefully see you soon on those things. Uh, we're gonna take a uh, quick break, and uh, when we come back, we'll talk about a. Uh, Another favorite part of spring, uh, Enchanted Evenings, it's, it's a great time. Uh, we'll, we'll see you in a few minutes. When it's time to move, protect yourself from fraud. Keep an eye out for red flags, like this. No, I don't need to see your stuff. I can give you a quote right now. Really? Or this. Just sign this now, we'll fill it out later. Learn to spot all the red flags of moving fraud. Go to protectyourmove.gov. Don't put your money or your memories at risk. ProtectYourMove.gov, a message from the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, one of my favorite parts about spring is our uh, annual program, uh, Centra Medical Group Enchanted Evenings. Joining with, with me is Lisa Ferguson. Lisa, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit. Enchanted Evenings, uh, let's just pretend like nobody knows what that is. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, they're sponsored by Central Medical Group, as you said. They're held once a month during the summer month. They're free concerts in the park, and we hope you'll come kick off your weekend. They're held on Thursdays, the third Thursday of every month, from 6.30 till about 8 o'clock. Um, like I said, they're free. We have a vendor there, usually one vendor, but we'd love for you to bring a picnic basket and a chair and set up and join us in the park. Try to provide a great variety of music. Uh, and we usually have about four or five of these every year. Right, it runs August, excuse me, April through August. All right, uh, and, and it's like I, Lisa said, it's a great program. Uh, you come on out, you just hang out in the park, listen to some great music. Uh, this year, our first show kicking it off in April is uh, Bluegrass, I believe. It is Bluegrass, one of Danville's favorites. That has our biggest crowds is the Bluegrass, and it's going to be Just Cause. Uh, just Cause Bluegrass, you can get, uh, you can hear more about it. They have a website, I believe, you just right. Google Just calls bluegrass uh, they're a whole lot of fun what day is that show it's going to be thursday april the 17th okay and again that's uh completely free just come on out enjoy the music um i think they let you dance a little bit if you want to if is you want right? to dance we love for you dance and uh this is it's at blue park is that right where, where? the main stage in blue park 
Um, also, we don't cancel them if it rains. We move it indoors to Blue Recreation Center. So they're rain or shine events. Okay, so uh, go ahead and put that on your calendar and plan to come out, whether it's rain or shine. What time did you say that 630. was? 630. 630. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, it, it's at Ballou Park. Uh, the main stage, if I'm correct, if you're coming from McDonald's, Blue Park Rec Center is on your left. Mm -hmm. uh, you just go right there beside it, and right. it's on that hill. Is that right. correct? That's correct. Uh, and you said bring your lawn chairs? Lawn chair and a blanket, or picnic basket, lunch, dinner, I mean. Whatever you, uh, just whatever it has to, to have a good time. Right. It's a good family event. Plus, uh, it's on Thursday, and it's great to kick off the weekend, starting a little day early. Uh, that's right, yeah. Uh, you know, no, no time like the present to have a good weekend. So we have Just Calls, the first show, and I understand we have a second one lined up, May the 15th? It's Ray Martin and Friends. Yes, it'll be May the 15th, and that's going to actually kick off Festival in the Park. That's going to be the opener for Festival in the Park. Okay, great. And we'll talk a little bit more about Festival Park uh, a little bit later in the show. But let's talk about Ray Martin. What does he sing? Um, variety. He does rock. 70s, 80s, just he has a good variety of songs, and he's from the area too. Okay, great. So then both of these are local, is right. that right? We try to use local bands. Great. And Just Cause, I think you said, are they from the Dry Fork area? Right. Uh, that, that's a, they're a great show, uh, bluegrass, a uh, little picking and grinning. Uh, and then Ray Martin, he covers a little bit, a uh, little bit of everything. Uh, so just come out and enjoy them. And uh, again, it's a free show, it's a free event, free to the family. Uh, we'll put up a complete schedule later on as we get the, the acts signed up, is that correct? Right. We've got all the acts but one. Um, we're negotiating with one of them, and we'll release those shortly. Okay, and, and those will, all those information will be on our website, uh, playdanvilleva.com. We look forward to seeing you out there at the park, and Lisa, we really look forward to these shows. Thank you. We'll be right back. home watching TV doing nothing. I would be at home playing my Xbox. I would be bored to death. Because it's very fun here. I made new friends. The best thing in my life. I've been here since 2009. I know it's going to be a lot of fun for me. I can make lots of friends and stuff. We had a policeman come to teach us about gun safety and internet safety. I love it because the person from the science center came and talked to us about the um, outer space. I made a lot of friends at summer camp. Tyree, my sister, Natalia, Tanaya. I love summer camp fun day because we have so many cool activities that we do. to be the fun wagon and then the fun wagon because I love water. The fun, the fun wagon we got in water when there was a big sprinkler. The fun wagon is only something that I can do when I come to um, coach camp. <laughs> Just playing around with my friends and stuff. That's what I like, playing around with my friends. Uh, joining with me is Barbara Seamster. Barbara is uh, with 103.7 and 104.5 radio stations. Yeah. Uh, and Barbara is also a volunteer member of the Festival in the Park Board. Uh, Barbara, thank you so much for your, your service uh, you. to the community, and thank you for, for coming on the show. Thank you. Um, now, Festival in the Park, I understand this year is a special event. It is. It is. This one's a big one. This was the 40th annual. It's hard to believe that many years has gone by. It's one of the oldest running traditional festivals in Virginia, so we're proud of that. So it's the 40th uh, Festival in the Park. Uh, what are the dates this year? Okay, it's May. It's beautiful in May. It's the 16th, 17th, and 18th, which is a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And, and, and like Barbara said, uh, uh, it's, a, it's 40 years. Uh, it's a great event. Uh, this year, we're real excited about this event. Um, now, Barbara, before we get too far into it, uh, again, like this, um, the, the festival itself is 
made up of a board of volunteers, and we certainly always appreciate just the members of the community coming and helping out. And I understand we also have some sponsors that really we help do. out as well. Do you want to recognize them? Yes, of course. The name sponsor is Pepsi Cola. Very proud of them. They've been with us for years. Uh, Danville Distributing, URW, Danville Regional Medical Center as well. And of course, Danville Parks and Recreation. Now we also... Uh, and Sam's Club. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, don't forget Sam's Club. Mm -hmm. And we also, the whole city of Danville really gets in. Uh, so this is just a good community event. Uh, it's been going on for 40 years. Uh, tell us a little bit, what do we have planned this year? What can people expect? Well, as Blue Park is beautiful at that time of year and you can enjoy the entire park, but there's so much going on. I kind of made a list to try to highlight a little bit about each area. But I love especially the craft area and the vendors. We have commercial vendors and crafters that have such wonderful things to see. We even have specialty market, which might be a product that they make that's a manufactured type product that they can bring and you can buy. Of course, children's area is tremendous and brings in families and there's so much for kids to do in that entire area. Bistro Row, lots of good food and beverages. Um, three days of entertainment, that's big because the beauty of this festival, it's all free. So we're so proud of that. The people can come to see the music uh, all three days and we have a variety of bands coming in beginning with Dirt Road Scholars on Friday night. We've got Funky Bone on Saturday, as well as Josh Thompson Band, which is an up and coming country act that's wonderful. Uh, and then we have the Gospel Show on Sunday. And then there's just much, much more. Um, there's community agencies that are there that can showcase their services and their educational. Um, you have a, on Saturday you have the Nestle 5K Run, Walk, and Wheelchair for adults and children. You've got, of course, uh, the Health Fair, which is sponsored by Sam's Club all day Saturday, and I like that because you can really go down and get all kinds of tests and things done for free. Uh, their samples and medical professionals are there and really, really support the community. Um, there's a cruise in across the street, so not just in the park, but outside of the park. And I hear this year they're going to open that for motorcycles as well as vehicles. So come and enjoy that all day Saturday. Um, and there's a children's art extravaganza for all ages, and we could probably talk about that quite a bit more. But it's going to be phenomenal, and, and children's art from 5 to 18 will be there all three days and will be judged. So want the families and children to be pulling that art together. Great, and we'll have all of this schedule um, as we finalize all the plans. I know we're big in planning right now. Um, as we finalize these plans, we'll put them up on PlayDanvilleVA.com. You can click on Programs and Events, Special Events, Festival in the Park. Uh, we'll have all these up. Uh, any kind of forms that need to be downloaded, you can get the race mm -hmm. information there. Uh, and also the Youth Art Gala. Let's, well, before we talk about that, let me just mention, I love the food. Mm -hmm. I, uh, every year I'll try to spend as much money as I can on funnel cakes. Yeah. Uh, that's always <laughs> my plan. Um, fortunately, you know, I don't have that much money, so I don't <laughs> eat that much funnel cakes. Uh, but that's, uh, it's a great event. It's always a lot of fun. There's always something new there. Uh, in fact, if you go to my house right now, you could probably find the majority of our decorations came from the crafters there. There's some beautiful stuff, beautiful mm -hmm. artwork. Um, I think last year, uh, we got our little dog a bandana. Right. I mean, there's stuff for right. everybody. There's, uh, we got our little boy a little duck that you push on a stick and he walks, and mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. So, Festival in the Park, it's always a lot of fun. We'll have that information on PlayDanvilleVA.com. Let's talk a little bit. The Youth Art Gala. Now, understand, mm -hmm. uh, this is a lot of mediums. Mm -hmm. It can be painting. It can be sculpture. Yes. Uh, and, and There's even pottery. There's computer art. There's five different categories from five years old to 18. So there's plenty of opportunity, no matter what you're good at. There's something you can enjoy making and submitting. And you can actually start, I hope you started in January to make this art, but you can make it through May, through the middle of May. But we must have your application in by May the 2nd. All right, to be May able the 2nd. To, to be able to enter. Mm -hmm. Okay. and. Uh, Again, all that brochure, that brochure information, the rules of the, the contest, playdanvilleva.com on our Festival in the Parks page. Mm -hmm. You can also Google Festival in the Park Danville, uh, and that page will come up. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, facebook.com slash festival in the park 
Incorporated, I believe mm -hmm. is what it is. Uh, and, and so we're real excited about that. Uh, mm -hmm. We're actually getting ready to have Racing and Tasting. That'll mm -hmm. be uh, here in a couple weeks. April 18th. And uh, once mm -hmm. that's over, that's a, that's a fundraiser um, for, for festival. festival. Yes. Um, so we're real excited. Um, get your tickets now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, go ahead and get them. Uh, Danville Welcome Center at 793-4636. Uh, again, that will be April the 18th. Mm -hmm. um, Festival in the Park is a great event, a lot of fun. What are some of your favorite memories? Well, I love the food as well. I love that homemade ice cream. I, last year I even had something. I've been up north and I had this. I've never had it down here before, but somebody baked or rolled, grilled a whole ear of corn. That was a lot of fun. Um, the variety of food is what I enjoy. Looking and walking up and down Bistro Row, looking at everything that's there to offer, tasty, to, you know, something for all ages, no matter what your tastes are. Um, also like the crafts as well. There's such a great variety, and I want to encourage people if, if they would like to be there and present their product or craft, um, they have until April the 1st to go ahead and submit that application. So we still welcome people. And truly, I think it's such a community event. It brings people of all ages together. There's something for everyone over the three days, whether it's music or health awareness or whatever they like to do is simply walk around and see friends. And I see a lot of that. I see people that haven't seen their friends for a while and they'll connect there and enjoy the day together. Sure, and you know, let me tell you real quick, uh, my favorite festival in the park uh, memory, uh, my little boy was born in April and then so May was the first time we kind of had him out. It was the first time. It was a nice weekend. Uh, so we, were, we put him all in the car, you know, and we're, you know, the proud parents and everything. Uh, so we're driving all the way to the park, and it's raining the whole time. We're like, oh, no, it's, it's raining. But we pulled into the, the Blue Shopping Center to park to see what was going to do. The rain quit. The sun right. came out. Uh, and then we walked around the park, and it was just, that was a good time. It was a good time in Danville. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have been coming to Festival Park 40 years. 40 years. Uh, so uh, we, we invite everyone to come out. Again, it starts on Friday, May the 17th. 17th. Uh, and that'll start at... Excuse me, 16th. 16th, 16th. yeah. 17th and, that's and 18th. Four, starts at 4? Four. 4 to 8 on Friday, 10 to 8 on Saturday, and 1 to 6 on Sunday. And so there's all times you can come. So we look forward to seeing you out there. Mm -hmm. Come on out, take some pictures, have a good time. Uh, visit the children's area. Uh, there's plenty to do, plenty to see, uh, plenty to buy, plenty to eat, and plenty mm -hmm. to listen to. <laughs> uh, so come on out, Festival in the Park. We'll see you there. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. If you want a brighter future, you have to have a spark. In the Dan River region, we see education not just as a spark, but as a beacon, a light that guides our children from the playground to the graduation stage and beyond. We breathe life back into the region. We ride to victory. We soar to new heights. We invest in our children. We invest in success. We invest in the future. Um, in Danville Parks and Recreation, we like to make sure the entire community is happy and healthy. Joining me is Charlene Presley, who organizes services for people with disabilities. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Karen. Glad to. Um, now, I understand you're having an appreciation day for parents and participants in your program, um, but tell us a little bit about your program overall and your services that you offer. Um, programs and services that we offer at Stonewall are for individuals with physical, cognitive, and um, and uh, behavioral and high functioning autism. Um, I understand that Special Olympics are coming up. So can you tell us a little bit about that program? Special Olympics is on April 16th and that is going to be at the George Washington Stadium. And it starts at 9 a.m. with the Parade of Athletes. And then we'll get into the events and there are several events. It's like a mini Olympics. So there's running, there's softball throw, tennis ball throw, 
and there's the long jump. So basically anything that you could see at the Olympics but not as many events. So it's, it's open to the school children and the adults that live in the community. So if you need more information, you can also call me at 799-5199 and I can fill you in on the information that's needed. And can the community come out and watch that as well? Sure, we'd love for the community to be in the stands because you cheer on the individuals, it makes them feel really good, and it's just a fun time for everybody that is present. Okay, well thank you again Charlene. If anyone has any questions about Charlene's services uh, for people with disabilities, you can give her a call at 799-5199. Thank you Charlene. Thank you Karen. We have a lot of summer camp opportunities at Parks and Recreation, which can be found in the brochure or online at PlayDanvilleVA.com. Um, with me today is uh, Shanette Jenkins. She's one of the camp directors. Shanette, what kind of camps do you run? We run all sorts of camps. Um, we have our full day camps and we have after school programs. Uh, this year, this summer, we will have two camps. This year we'll have our regular summer fun camp at Coates Recreation Center. And then we'll also have a mad science camp at Glenwood Community Center. Well, that sounds really fun. Um, where, what are your camp locations? You said Glenwood and Coates. Is there any, anywhere, any other specialty camps going on in the summer? Well, the department actually has plenty of camps from conditioning camps without health and wellness to sports camps with athletics. Um, outdoor recreation will also be having camps. Um, the camps that I run are um, pretty general. You know, they're filled with all activities. The math science camp will focus on science and technology. Mm -hmm. So um, there's plenty for our, your kids to do during the summer. What's a typical week like at camp? A typical week, oh man, it's, it's packed. You know, you can drop them off as early as 7.30. Mm -hmm. They'll receive a snack at, a morning snack about 9.30. We have structured games in the morning and then they eat lunch. Then the afternoon, they have another structured activity. There's time for pl free play, there's outside time, and then they have to be picked up by six. Where are some of the places that the campers might go on a field trip? Um, we do a lot of in-town trips from bowling to skating, um, mega bounce. We go to Dan Daniel and ride the zip line. That's one of their favorites. Um, we've toured the um, baseball stadium, the Braves, and um, just plenty of things. Um, how much does camp cost? This year, it is $85 for city residents. Mm -hmm. It's $100 for non-city. Mm -hmm. And we do have a daily rate of $25 or $30 per day for our non-city residents. We do have a few campers that may come one or two days out of the week versus a full week. And so we do provide options for all um, And needs. I heard that that also includes lunch. Is that it does include great. lunch. Um, we offer lunch during the summer through the summer feeding program sponsored by the USDA. Mm -hmm. And so they're getting a healthy meal and most of the time it's delicious. <laughs> Well, that all sounds really fun. Um, when when are sign-ups, when are deadlines? Um, I'm sure that space is limited, so people should sign up soon. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, registration is actually open now. Okay. Um, it's been open since January 1st. Um, we did an early bird special up until about March 15th, and so now it's still not too late to sign up. You can still register. Um, we get registrations as late as the week of, um, and so at this point we do not have a um, max number and so we have two camps so if one is filled then you have the other one as an option along with other camps that we have within our department. Well thank you Shanette. Now remember everyone we have a ton of camps. Check out Play Danville VA for more information. Click on programs and events and go to summer camps. Now we're going to wrap up the session but we're going to throw it out to Russell uh, with Brian Price at the Power Zone for a Wellness Minute. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Thanks Karen. We're here at the Power Zone Fitness Center, the Danville City Auditorium, with our Fitness Minute for the month. This month, we're going to talk about abdominal work, uh, something that everybody wants to do. They want that trim stomach. They want that six-pack, that eight-pack, something that everyone wants to do. So I want to demonstrate an exercise with my model, Russell, and demonstrate just a basic crunch. Now, when we have people perform crunches, Usually the things that we find out is that people are using momentum to do their crunches or they're pulling on the back of their neck to do their crunches. And so they either hurt the back of their neck or they're just getting swimming in the head because they're moving up and down. So what I'm going to get Russell to demonstrate is a basic, simple crunch. 
that anyone can do at home. So the first thing I'm going to get Russell to do is just bend his knees to a point where he's comfortable to where his feet, his toes, and his heels are on the ground. So wherever he feels comfortable with that, if he wants to spread his feet a little bit to give him a little bit of balance, that's just fine. If not, he's perfect like he is. Then I want you to just hold your head back, Russell. Okay? If you want to cross your arms or cross your chest, holding your shoulders, you're more than welcome to do that. Or if you want to place your hands behind your head, if you're more comfortable that way, you can do that as well. Now the secret to doing a crunch is just lifting your shoulders off the ground. And you're trying to lift your shoulders up to the ceiling. Not over your knees, but just straight up to the ceiling. So let's try a couple of crunches and just see how Russell can do. Just basically raise your shoulders just like that and go back down. Go up and back down. Up, back down. Two more. Up, back down. Up, back down. That's it. That's a simple basic crunch that anyone can do at home. If you notice, Russell wasn't pulling on his neck. He wasn't using his momentum to go up and back. And if you do those, one crunch is better than a hundred slide and push up. I'm here on the uh, Brew Grogan Park with director uh, Bill Skrinja. And uh, Bill, we just came out to, to inform the folks a little bit about how program is going to change this summer at the park due to the uh, recent coal ash spill. Can you give us a little more detail about specifically a Brew Grogan Park? Certainly. As of April 2nd, uh, the park is closed to, to public and it is uh, a contractor for Duke Energy will be using the park to stage their cleanup operations here. So as part of that, they're going to close all public access to the park. Uh, they anticipate being done late June, early July. So during that time period, they'll have use of the park. Uh, all of our programs, our summer camps, our canoe classes, our kayak classes, they're still going. We're just going to switch locations. So. We'll probably use Camilla Williams Park to stage those programs out of. Now, just for reference uh, for you folks at home, Brew Grogan Park is on, uh, as you head out of town towards Greensboro on 29, it's got the boathouse on the right uh, across from Frank's Pizza. Um, that's a Brew Grogan. Now, Camilla Williams is a little farther down on West Main. Uh, it's at Kentucky Fried, right next to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, now, just to clarify, um, the reason why we had to close this park is Duke Energy is using this area as a cleanup site. Uh, but just again to reiterate, we still will have access to get our boats and to move them down. Is that correct? Yes, we're going to leave all of our equipment here. We've worked with the contractor who's going to be doing the cleanup, the coal ash cleanup here, so that we can get access to our equipment. So when it's time for a program, we'll load our equipment up, we'll transport it to whether it be Anglers Park, Camilla Williams, somewhere else, and do the programs at those locations. And anybody who signs up for those programs will be notified well ahead of time of uh, where they're meeting and what the program will be. Now, uh, tell us a little bit uh, again, what is the time scale uh, for Brew Grogan being closed? From, from what we're understanding right now, the uh, contractors are going through permitting, but as of April 1st, April 2nd, they have access to the property. So what, what you'll see from the public is they're going to fence the property in and they'll be moving a bunch of pretty large equipment in here to, to extract the coal uh, ash out of the water. We expect it from what we're being told to be around three months or around the early part of July before we get back into the park. Now, um, for you folks at home that haven't been to the, uh, to the press releases or seen any of this, uh, Duke Energy is saying that it's, it's, the water will be safe down the river. They're not digging up a lot of stuff that will float on down. They're going to try to get everything out from this part, um, and, and they're not going to be sending it down the river, so it will be safe to get into the river. Um, now, we usually do boat rentals. Are we not going to do that this year? We will, but it will be later in the summer because initially just uh, it's so convenient to, to rent them here, and it's such a good section of river here for a beginner to come rent a boat on. Um, so initially we're not going to be doing boat rentals, we'll just be doing our programs and classes. As soon as we get access back to this site, uh, we'll, we will uh, resume boat rentals. Okay, uh, Bill, thank you so much for, uh, for joining us out here. Uh, to follow for more of this information, uh, you can check on our website, playdanvilleva.com. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have more information and we'll post when the park is open. Uh, we'll have a link on the left side of the page that will be to the coal ash cleanup and everything. So we just want to keep everyone informed at home.